In the 1951 film adaptation of A Streetcar Named Desire, Marlon Brando's character, Stanley Kowalski, famously went bowling to blow off steam. The bowling alley also proved a refuge from responsibility for Jeff Bridges' cinematic slacker, The Dude, in The Big Lebowski. Both would find the lanes of 21st century Britain considerably less to their liking. The smoke filled halls and Cheap beer are long gone as tent pin bowling has gone both mass and upmarket, offering VIP lanes and cocktails by night, and children's parties and gourmet burgers by day. Given up for dead after the smoking ban came into effect a decade ago, tent pin bowling is now one of the UK's fastest growing leisure activities. Last year, almost a third of all Britons are said to have gone bowling, lifting turnover to the highest level on record, according to market research firm Intel. In total, we spent £285 million notching up strikes and spares, an annual increase of 7%. Spending this year will top £300 million. Bowling has shifted a long way from its blue-collar male roots in post-war America, and is Appealing to a much wider group of people, said Mintel senior analyst John Worthington. There's a much bigger family focus now, as well as the office night out crowd, that rather odd mix of suits. And buggies is in evidence at the Hollywood Bowl in Brighton, one of the country's growing number of refurbished bowling alleys. It's early evening on a Wednesday and toddlers, teenagers and parents line up alongside a group of bonding, office workers and some college students. Further down, a gaggle of women on a hen party squeal with delight. The clatter of balls hitting pins echoes in the air, 